it is the year 2020. It's Valentine's Day. Now, how could we make a memorable video and possibly a return to doing videos again? Well, why not jump on the unboxing bandwagon? So, hi everybody, this is Clear Heart Apple. And I'm back from rather a sizable time being off YouTube, and well, it feels it's time to have a bit of fun. So, what am I going to be unboxing? And if I can get this in frame right, yeah, there we go. The January Doki Doki Crate. Or Doki Doki Box by Japan Crate. Um, now, I should mention, I actually bought this um, just recently from somebody actually reselling it on eBay. Who knew that was a thing that people would actually um, resell things like this on eBay complete? Um, uh, yeah, no, because there's obviously an address in there blacked out. That's the way it came to me. Well, it actually came in the Amazon Prime box and all, but yeah. Doggy doggy crate. <clears throat> Let's say we open this thing up and see what we got. Okay, here we go. There we go. Doggy doggy Japan crate. Oh, it's actually got to let me know what half these things are. Um, we'll grab this first. <coughs> oh God, yeah. If you've got the cold, don't go and cough your lungs out in public places. That's a gift nobody wants. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing we got is uh, so Miko Garashi bracelet. Uh, I think this is what one of those kit things. Uh, I'll see. Hang on, set that down there. Uh, we'll look it up in the handy dandy um, guide. That's what I'm reading from. Um, this is. I'm obviously not going to open this and do this on camera, but if you guys want me to, I'll, I'm going to do a little construction video or something like that. I think that's what this thing is. <clears throat> Let's see, it's description. This is not your ordinary bracelet. These Sumiko Garashi charms double as erasers. Enjoy making this bracelet by carefully cutting eraser stacks into charms. Oh boy. Yeah, if you guys ask for um, me to do a demonstration of this, I am going to have to get... Um, a craft knife, because I don't know. I think scissors won't cut this thing. <laughs> you know. But where are we? Enjoy making this bracelet carefully by Anolf. No, read it right, you idiot. Um, yeah, just for uh, just for clarification, um, I'm not editing these things. These have just been done in one. Um, yeah, enjoy making this bracelet by carefully cutting eraser stacks into charms and adding them to the string provided. I guess there's erasers and strings. That, there's something that feels like string in there. Show off your creation in the new year. Um, yeah, this would have been handy for the Japanese New Year. But yeah, hmm. that'll, be, that'll be an interesting video to do in the future. The card, don't we? Well, I'll have to get the equipment for it. But yeah, that's one. Uh, I'll go with this plushie. Uh, <clears throat> now, this is, as it says, it's a Daruma plushie. I'll see. Daruma are a symbol of good luck and perseverance all year round, but especially so around the new year. Typically, the Dharma's eyes are blank. Watch out, get Funko Pop. 
Maybe that's where they stole the idea from. And one of the eyes should be coloured in when a goal or resolution is set. I don't know how you can do that on that. The other eye would only be coloured in once the goal was met. Again, how do you do that on this thing? Because um, both the eyes are coloured in. Unless you use a gold sharpie or something like that. However, these are no ordinary Daru. 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 I got it right a lot of it. Dar, Daruma. Yeah. That's it. These adorable creatures have taken the place of the iconic Dar. Dara my face in order to encourage you this year with her cuteness. Mm. Mm. It's actually quite nice, no? <laughs> Yeah, well it's not exactly the one that's in the um the wee booklet here. This one's white and it kinda of looks like an owl maybe. I think. Um let's just show you. Yeah, that's what it's that's the one that is in the book. That's not what's in here. No, oh, I've got, I got this one. The white one. Uh, what else we've got? Um, well, there's obviously Pokemon stuff in there, but I'm not going to get to that yet. Ooh. Solid wood. This is a Sumiko Garashi Emma. Let's see. Emma are wooden boards often found in temples. Oh, if I can hold this up. Used to write prayers and wishes. This particular one is decorated with the Sumiko Garashi friends. Hang it up for good... Hang it up for good fortune and luck all year round. Where am I going to hang that in here? Oh, there's going to be some more, but yeah, that's nice. That was real, uh, that's really nice. And I can guarantee you it's uh, genuine wood. Uh, now this. What is this? This looks like a pencil case to me. It's so up here, there's a zip. And looks like a pencil case. I've had things that were the oh, pencil case size. But no, that's not what this is. It's, all this stuff is genuine from Japan. Um, This is a... If I can, uh, um, odd, I'm going to butcher this, I just know it. Otoshidama pouch. Oh, close enough. Uh, sorry for anybody who's from Japan. Um, I've really butchered that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Uh, see. These pouches look similar to the envelopes you'd find around New Year's Day. Oh, so. It's similar to one of those things. Uh, typically, parents and adults give... Envelopes filled with money to children as an appreciation towards them. Optimism for the new year and encouragement to save money. Hmm. Oh, yeah, those I know from some of the anime series I've seen. This pouch looks more like a traditional style envelope and is sure to make and sure to help you with some money saving as well. Yeah, that might be what it, it's supposed to be, but uh, it it comes across too much as a pencil case uh, or something like that. Um, I don't know if you if anybody can comment down below if this is actually what these things are supposed to be. They're supposed to be like that, or. or with a zip there instead of and looking like a pencil case rather than a 
couch or envelope. That's, that doesn't look like an envelope to me. Um, uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, oh, craft uh, paper. Um, and this doesn't seem to be in the book. This might have been. This is like a gotcha. This is a gotcha. Well, I think. Um, yeah, look, it's not in the box at all. It's not in the contents here, so uh, I think... Oh, if I, it must have been something that was just thrown in extra. I'm not complaining about it, but... A gacha pod. Uh, that's a Pokemon one. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a Pikachu. Let's see. Squeezy little Pikachu toy. Well, that's actually, it's actually very well painted. Yeah, you wouldn't get that quality here, I think, in some of the things. I've seen knockoff things, but nothing like that. A cute little Pikachu. Let's see what other ones we could have got. Uh, what ones is there in that collection? There's um, Pikachu, of course. There's Eevee. Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Hmm. Yeah, Gen Gadget Pod. And um, the last thing in this box is, um, I don't know, you can see, there's, I said that to say. there's nothing else in there, but I'll see inside of the box. If you want to know what it's in there. Last thing is this, uh, <coughs> kind of fitting for this, the Pikachu girly collection. <laughs> well, I think that art is actually nice. Um, yeah, this is, oh, I have no idea what any of that says, but it's a Shell Pro item. So we sticker or something there. But yeah, that's a cute looking Pikachu. Let's get this, let's crack this open. Ooh, it's a mug. It's a lot of shower in most of the ones I've got, but look, that's, that's nice. Maybe a garlic mug, but I don't think that's suitable for, that's perfect for Valentine's, I think. Get a little Pikachu there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little mug. Hang on, I'll bring it back. So you can see that in all its glory. Sort of embarrassed Pikachu. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, and I'll show you the inside there because there is one in there too. There, look, there's a, where is it? A little Pikachu inside there. It's really nice and it's like a, like a good mug in this one. Yeah, there we go. Official stuff. So, um, not some the sort of crap you'd normally get from Look Great Wind. Yeah, that's a really nice thing. Um, and I'll bring these, bring these, there's the mug, there's the plush, I'll bring it, set these things up here. This sort of pencil case thing, I'm not sure if it's a pencil case or not, so the Pikachu figure. The wooden thing, of course I'm not reading from the, looking at the thing, and the sort of pencil eraser um, bracelet set. Yeah, that's nice, that was nice. That was really nice. Hang on. Move the camera over a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a nice lot of wee stuff. And um, I have to say, this box was pretty full and weary. So, yeah, tell me if you guys want to see more of this sort of thing. I can look into it. 
during the year and look at I'll unbox some there's some other boxes coming that I could unbox. They're mainly um sweet treats and that, but yeah, let me know if um you want to see more of this and if there's anything else you want me to cover because I've got a lot of action figures back here. I really don't have them with but yeah th anyway thanks for watching and um i'll catch you later